he'll be back in a boy again for the festival as reigning queen. It's it's the best. It's so nice. Everybody was asking me, they're like, how do you feel about handing it over? And to come back again to the festival and to experience it again in a different aspect kind of brings closure to the whole year and it finishes it off nicely and puts the cherry on the cake, definitely. Over the past year and the past two festivals, what have been the highlights for you? The highlights? It's the people. Um, not only the Queens themselves, but the committee and the people of Athboy. You'll be walking down the street and all the same familiar faces are popping up again and you're chatting away and you're making friends and it's, that's the, one of the main parts that I've enjoyed the most about the festival, definitely. How do the people of Athboy and Meanmark treat you uh, during your time as Queen? Definitely, you can already describe it as being treated like a Queen. They've been so nice and facilitating. They go above and beyond and way out of what they normally would have ever have to do. And they make you feel so at home and welcome and warm and brilliant. It's just indescribable how great they are. And the committee is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> if you had any advice to offer future queens or would be queens, what would you say to them? I think I said it last year, but just do it. Just take a chance, say yes to something that's different because you'll never know what you'll get from it. Change is always good. It's hard, but it's good. And it's good to take yourself out of your comfort zone and reap the rewards then later. If you could be any fruit, what would you be and why? What would I be? I'd be a fruit salad. Ah. A little bit of everything. We'll dabble in it all. <laughs> I said like a pro. <laughs> <laughs>